it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is day two of the 12 days of Christmas and I'm going to do something different. I am going to make a shadow box. So all this stuff that I'm showing you right here I got from the Dollar Tree. The tin is from the Dollar Tree as well. It is a tin that I had that I found that has a little window on it. So it's going to be super cool when I get done with this. So you ready? Here we go. So the first thing I did is I took my little piercing tool that my husband had and I just put a hole in the back of the um, tin to be able to string my lights through. That was the first thing I did. Then the next thing I did is the inside of the tin was gold and I didn't want to use gold. So I want to make a little scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm just taking um, my green acrylic paint. You can use any color you want that's Christmassy that goes with the scene that you pick for the back of it but I'm using green and I'm using my little foam brushes that I also got at the Dollar Tree just to kind of brush it on doesn't matter what paint you use any paint will do and there it is and it doesn't matter if you get it on the back guys because you're, that's gonna get covered so now the way that I make it fit inside the tin is I took my pattern paper which is from PhotoPlay and it has little snowflakes on it and that's going to be my background. I just turned my tin lid upside down and traced it. And now it'll fit in the tin perfectly. So what I did is I took my scissors and I just cut it out. And you'll see in a minute. And then I'm just gonna glue it down with some glue dots from the Dollar Tree as well. So, like I said, really simple. Simple, simple idea, guys. And it's super, super cool when I get done. Wait to see it. So those are the glue dots, and like I said, I'm just going to put them down at the bottom of my tin, and that is going to hold that piece of pattern paper down. Really simple. And see how it fits in there perfectly? There you go. And next, I'm going to take my string of lights, which I also purchased from the Dollar Tree, and they're just battery-operated lights. Sometimes you can get the copper ones, which are really easier to pull through. Um, I had to make my hole a little bit bigger because these were a little bit bigger lights, but it's okay. It all worked. I just made my piercing tool and I kind of moved it around. The tin's really easy to bend and um, make the hole bigger. And I'm just stringing them through my tin. And then there's a rim on the side of the trim of the tin on the inside, and I'm going to use my glue dots to glue that down as well. But first, I'm gonna take my battery pack and I'm going to fasten it to the back of the tin. So what I did is I found these little fasten dots at the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to stick them on. And all they are is Velcro. So you got each side and I just stick them down and then it's gonna to stick to the back of my tin. Very simple. You can get a whole package of these, which is super cool because you can use them for other things as well. And now I'm just going to stick that down. And there's my battery pack. And I have it on the side so that I could flick my switch on and off whenever I want. So now what I did is, like I told you, I just took the glue dots and around the rim, I just stuck them down. And then I put down my um, wiring for my lights. And I just went around the whole box with them. Very simple. Okay. And next, what I did is I went back the other way because I had a lot left over. So then when you put the tin over the top of it, you can't see the wiring because of the rim of the top of the tin. And there's the lights turned on. Pretty pretty. So now this is also from the Dollar Tree and it is like a dust mop and you find it in the mop section where the where your um, sponges are and mops and all that kind of stuff. And I just cut it out and it looks like snow. I just measured the bottom of my tin, cut it out perfectly, stuck it inside, and it fits perfect. So first though, I wanted to spruce it up a little bit. So what I did is I took some glue adhesive spray, which I also got at the Dollar Tree, and I just sprayed it, and then I just put some clear glistening um, glitter on the bottom, and that kind of made it have the snow have a little bit of a shine to it and a sparkle. So now what I'm doing is I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue that down to the bottom of my tin. Just like that. 
And I'm sorry you can't see it from the top because of the way I'm filming. But I am going to make another one of these and I will film it from the side. And there it is. All nice inside my tin and ready to go. So then I got these trees also from the Dollar Tree. And I used some glitter glue that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I decided to spruce up my trees a little bit. And I wanted them to have some ornaments. So what I did is I just took the glue, the glitter glue, and I just made little ornament balls on my tree. You got to be careful though because the glitter glue takes a long time to um, set. So just be really, really careful. And there are my little ornaments. Now, before I forget, I want to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies who are also doing the 12 Days of Christmas. I will have their links down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button. And there is my tree. All spruced up with little ornaments. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hot glue on the bottom of it. And I'm going to glue it down into the tin on top of my snow. There it is. I love this idea guys it's so cool so next I took another little tree that I got now I got a whole package of these for a buck and they were at the Dollar Tree as well and it's just a smaller tree so I have my big tree and my small tree and now I'm going to take um, my little park bench and my lamppost and I'm gonna stick those in. Now at the Dollar Tree you get these. These are figurines and they have all different sets of them and they come in three sets in a package, which is super cool because you can make all kinds of cool scenes with all these figurines. You can make your own town, all kinds of things. So there's my lamppost and my park bench. And now I'm gonna take Santa and I'm gonna stick him down with my glue gun. And I'm going to stick down, mix his claws next to him. And then I'm going to glue down my little um, snowman that I'm also going to put in there. And I'm just making this really cool scene inside this really cool tin from the Dollar Tree. Super cool idea. Now, I didn't make up this idea myself. I watched a lot of videos of people making shadow boxes. And this one is the one I liked the most. And I learned it from a woman called Jody's Craft Room. So if you want to check her out, I will have her link down below as well to her channel. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to spruce up the outside of the tin a little bit. So it didn't look like it came from the Dollar Tree. So what I did is I took some of my twine and I just glued it to the edge. There's like a little indentation around the top of this tin on the side there. And I'm just taking my glue and really gently going across, not doing too much because I don't want to have globs of glue all over the place. And I'm just kind of putting it in the rim and then sticking it down. And I am using my little finger protector because I am terrible with the glue gun. I constantly, constantly burn my fingers. So be real careful, guys. And I just glued it all the way around. And then when I got to the end, I make sure I glued that really, really good when I cut it because I didn't want it to come unraveled. And there you go, all done. So now I also got these at the Dollar Tree. These are just little um, spruces. They just look like little pines and they're just long strips of them. And what I did is I bent them. They have a wire on them. You can bend them very easily. And I cut the end of them and then I just kind of like made them like this. And then what I did is I took some of my white gesso, or you could use white acrylic paint if you don't have white gesso. And what I did is I spruced them up a little bit and I wanted to make them look like they had snow. So what I did is I took my little rough brush that I use all the time with my gesso and I just kind of brushed it on. And you could do it with white acrylic paint or any white paint that you have will, will do the trick. And there you go. Now it looks like they have snow on them, which is super cool. And it kind of tones down the green a little bit and doesn't make it look so fake. And that's what I really like about that idea. And I did it with both of them. And then what you're gonna see me do next is I'm going to hot glue them down to the front top of my tin. And I don't wanna cover the window when I glue them down because I wanna be able to see in the window at my beautiful scene that I just made, right? 
So once that's all done, oh yes, first I used some of these snowflakes that I also bought. Now you can get these at any craft store and they're really cheap. And I took some glue dots and I wanted to make the background um, pattern paper that I used by Photoplay with the snowflakes on it, have a little bit bigger snowflakes on it. And these were shiny ones that I got in a package. And I just decided to stick those down with some glue dots. And I just used, did a few so that when the light goes on, it'll shine a little bit brighter and look really cool and kind of three-dimensional. So now this little um, cluster that I got here of pine cones and berries, I also got at the Dollar Tree. So I got all that at the Dollar Tree. And what I did is I just cut the berries off with my scissors. And I'm going to use that to put in the center of my two little um, branches that I'm sticking on the top of my tin. So that's how they're going to go. And then once I get them down, what I do is I kind of just um, bend them a little bit upwards so they kind of like look a little bit better than just clustered together like that. And now I'm going to glue down my berries as well. And I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to get those on there so that they would look good. And now I'm just gonna put a glob of glue, stick those down, and now I'm gonna put my tin over, my top of my tin over the top of my box. And I'm gonna kinda just make those branches look a little bit cooler by moving them around a little bit. And now I'm gonna turn it on for the big ta-da. And there it is. There is my little town in my shadow box. So there's your close-ups. I hope you guys like it. And like I said, remember, stay crafty. See you again soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.